So guys, helium mining has taken over the world by storm, and in the past 30 days alone, over 60,000 miners have been added to the network, which is absolutely insane to see the rapid growth of this project. Now the problem is it has become almost impossible to obtain one of these miners in a short period of time, making a lot of people unhappy, and that is until one company came along. Well guys, it's about time where we review another crypto miner, and boy do I have a special one for us. Today we will be reviewing the minted gold spot miner by Rack wireless and we will be weighing its pros and cons and hopefully making a decision as to whether this is the best helium miner currently on the market so guys if you're into mining crypto make sure to mine that like button by giving it a quick tap and by doing so you'll be contributing to the youtube blockchain so we can recommend you more videos like this and make even more crypto and with all that being said guys let's get into today's episode all right guys so check out what came in the mail it was sent to us by rack wireless i wanted to do an unboxing real quick so you guys can see what's actually inside of this so as you guys can see, the packaging is really cool. Longfi, Helium Longfi compatible. And this is everything that is on it. Congratulations, you found the bottom. It's all upwards from here. Very cool packaging, I like it a lot, but let's dive into this. First thing we have is start mining here. You can see what it comes with. We get this out. And it's instructions, I guess, on how to actually start up the miner itself and everything that it comes in the package here. The button in regards to pairing, which we'll talk about later on in today's video, as well as actually screwing the antenna onto the miner itself. So I'll put this away. All right, so next thing we received is our order information, I believe. Yep, and then a card that says, we are grateful for your partnership, sending you wishes for a healthy, happy, and prosperous holiday season. Rack Wireless Team, very cool. And let's get into the nitty gritty here. So this is the packaging and this is what it comes with. I love black and gold, so I had, you know, we had to get this one. You can see right here, it comes with three things. The power cable, the miner itself, as well as the 2.3 DVI antenna, which is very nice. Packaging is great. This is it. We just take this off right here and we'll set this aside and put that together in a minute. We then get a charger itself. This is what powers the miner. And as you can see here, just a straight wall antenna. And then this is USB-C that plugs in, which is really cool. And then lastly, we have the miner itself. Very small, different from the Bobcat miner. So getting into this, you can see here, this is everything that it comes with, made out of aluminum, like gold aluminum, gold painted. And we have the spot to plug the antenna in right here. Limited edition, hopefully you can see that. Very cool. Everything on the sides. This is if you have ethernet, you can plug it in. Otherwise it works with Wi-Fi, which is nice. And that's everything. I really like that it says limited edition on it. So to plug the antenna in, you take this and you screw it in right here. And that's it. You just bend this up and you'd set this on the wall, put the uh, power adapter right there, and that's good to go. So here on the channel, we have extensively reviewed some of the most popular helium miners on the market, and today is no exception by far. And I'll be honest, I've heard some pretty incredible things about this little gold miner, as well as some negatives, which is why I felt it was necessary to make a video. Now, full disclosure, Rack Wireless did send me a miner to review and to keep, but told me to make an honest review of their miner and platform, and that's what we're gonna do today. Now, for those that are new or aren't familiar with the helium network, it's basically a blockchain network that leverages a decentralized centralized global network of hotspots that double as network miners and wireless access points, with the minted miner of course being one of them. Now these hotspots can be deployed by anyone and enable individuals to earn Helium's native h and coins in exchange by providing devices with connectivity. Now the problem with entering the space is actually acquiring a miner and not necessarily mining itself. And once you can actually get your hands on a miner, mining is actually quite profitable. Now the miner runs for about $400 and you can easily make that back in a month if you have a good location. Keep that in mind, location is everything with mining helium. But the problem was if you entered the helium community when it went mainstream and tried to actually purchase a Bobcat miner, you'd be quickly greeted with big bold red text that says only send USDC on the ERC20 network. And if you're new to mining, it's actually quite difficult to even do this with Coinbase or Binance. Now, sending crypto means you lose the security of getting your money back, which something like a credit card would actually give you when purchasing something. So you do lose that security. 
Now, the biggest issue is estimated shipping time, which can take anywhere from 20 to 28 weeks from your order date, which is literally seven months to receive your miner. I mean, I do get it, and I do understand that they want to make their money. It is a pretty darn hot market right now, but to sell them as pre-orders before they are even manufactured is only going to cause problems, and it just leaves you with unhappy customers. But here's where things get interesting. The minted miners are Rack's answer to the high demand for helium miners as the price of the helium network tokens rise and chip shortages make it impossible to fill orders in a timely manner. Now Minted has set out to change the game by allowing users to pay with credit cards and will only sell miners they have in stock, which is awesome. And with that in mind, they do not have any pre-orders and the big bonus for Helium fans is that miners and hotspots will ship two weeks after it is ordered with customers only allowed to order when inventory is available. And that's an awesome business model. Now, believe it or not, I was actually interested in the Minted miner prior to them actually sending me one and reaching out as a partner. I really just wanted to get involved in a miner that I could maybe get my hands on quicker. So I came across one of their drops, which was at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I remember waiting on my computer for about 10 minutes before they actually went live. So I won't miss my chance to actually purchase one. But once the website opened up, I quickly added the gold spot to my cart or so I had thought, and within a few seconds, the entire website had crashed, and it had become near impossible to check out on my laptop or even on my phone. And after about three minutes, I was actually able to add one of these miners to my cart and actually be able to put in my credit card details. But when I pressed checkout, as most did, I was told they were sold out. And this all happened within about three to four minutes from the original drop. Now, I was quite disappointed to see how bad their website handled the amount of bots people used to snag all the miners and resell it for literally triple the price on on eBay. Although I do know that a few people did actually get them organically, I was unfortunately not one of them. And I quickly saw all the tweets and Reddit threads from pissed off potential customers in the same situation as I was. But the great thing about the minted company is immediately after the drop, they made some improvements to their website. Taking in all the feedback that their customers left, they immediately made changes to their website and limited the amount of miners that people can purchase and hopefully deter people from using bots. Now, instead of five, it is now two miners that you can purchase in one order and they also increase their security against those bots. So if you want to scoop one, I definitely recommend going on their website and subscribing to their newsletter so you can actually be alerted when the next drop comes. And I also do recommend waiting for their drops and using the link in the description to support the channel. Now, keep in mind, you can actually buy them directly from their website with a credit card instead of using crypto or paying resale on eBay. And the gold spot miners are about $479 and the black spot miners are $399. And with no pre-orders and immediate shipping, it makes sense to try your luck on their website. Now, getting into the miner itself, the gold spot miner has a larger 8 gigabytes of RAM compared to the black spot miner, which only has 4 gigabytes of RAM. And this means extra headroom for your unforeseen blockchain challenges, which definitely, if you're in the helium space now, you have seen on numerous occasions. And it also increases your chances to actually be mining when others can't. Now, for those that don't understand what RAM means, to put it in comparison, the Bobcat miner has 1 to 2 gigabytes of RAM, depending on which batch you have received, which which is by random. And I believe that my Bobcat that I actually purchased has about one gigabyte of RAM and took about two to three days to sync to the network when I first received it before it was actually mining helium which is long, especially if you waited weeks to receive it. So having more RAM will decide how well your miner performs. And in comparison, when I set up the gold spot miner, it took a couple of hours to sync, which is pretty incredible when compared to the Bobcat miner. Now the miner itself is built really well and made out of solid metal or aluminum, that's what I would think. So it won't actually break easily compared to the Bobcat miner, which is made out of like thin black plastic. Now one downside is the antenna on the actual minted miner. With the stock setup, you need to place the entire miner on the window ledge, unlike the Bobcat, which has a long extendable cable. So you don't actually need to place the box itself directly on the window, but actually just an antenna. Now, the other downside for me specifically is the antenna that it comes with, but this is really only based on your specific surroundings. Now, the stock antenna that ships with the Rack Miner has about 2.3 dBi gain, which is good for more urban cities when you're close to other miners. But for suburbs, it makes sense to upgrade it as your earnings will start off quite low, which happened to me. And what I ended up doing for my situation was upgrading my Bobcat to a 5.8 dBi antenna and using the old stock antenna, the 4D 
DBI antenna from the Bobcat and actually putting it on the minted miner. And after a day or two, I actually saw a boost in performance. Now you can do this in other ways. You can move a 5.8 DBI antenna to it or even an 8 DBI antenna, whatever you think is suitable for your situation. But still, my miner has performed less than my Bobcat, which I think has something to do with the location and not necessarily the miner itself. So it's hard to know for sure its performance compared to the Bobcat because I can't actually keep them both running next to each other as they will both uh, split rewards and I will get less. But currently my Bobcat is installed in my apartment and the minted is at a friend's house. But by looking at other minted miners on the Helium Explorer, I do see ones actually performing extremely well. So I do want to think that it has everything to do with location and not necessarily the performance of the uh, tech itself within a miner. Now, moving on to the actual setup, it's pretty darn easy. You literally just plug it into an outlet and a small red light will appear. And once it's actually powered on, you just press the button on the side of the miner to put it into Bluetooth pairing mode. And also keep in mind, early versions of that rack hotspot miner, like let's say if you bought one on eBay, do not actually have that button. But for the most part, it will simply be discoverable for about five minutes once powered on and this is when you can then pair your helium hotspot with your mobile app and it might take up to a minute for the actual rack hotspot miner to completely boot up with the bluetooth and that's pretty much it also keep in mind if you do switch the antenna or location height you have to change that within the app itself so all in all i do think that the minted gold spot miner is great and affordable for the helium network and if you can actually get your hands on one i do recommend getting it and keep in mind they have made tons of improvement for their website in regards to checkout and the product itself so with that being said, definitely make sure to pick one up if you do have the chance. Otherwise, guys, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.